Hello everybody, Stuart here from Studio Gaming. Looking at Inquisitor Martyr again. Um, this is actually going to be a very quick video uh, and was suggested by one of my viewers, Liber Mortis. So thank you very much for the suggestion. Um, I hadn't even thought about this, so uh, it's a good job you did. Um, basically, it's how to get um, extra, not free, but extra skill points and attribute points. So there is actually a way that you can purchase skills and attributes using both credits and fate. So what you need to do is you need to head over to the station that you first visit when trying to unlock the Magos Biologus. So if you've played the Prophecy campaign that's not going to help you, but if you have played the main campaign you will know what I'm talking about. The place is called the Merciful Agony. Um, and it's basically a medical void station. So easiest thing to do is to head over to the special missions tab on the star map and you need to look in the special locations for Merciful Agony. It's in the Chernobog system if you want to go through the, uh, the other route so I don't think PC players have this kind of overview so I will show you the other way. What you will need to do is back out as far as you can until you get to um, the, I think it's the Gartha subsector, is it? It's the very starting one anyway. The Tenebra, there we go. So we're going to the Tenebra subsector and Chernobog is one of the ones there. If you see, status is suspicious, which I've never seen that before. It's interesting. So we will travel to that location again. Then we have the Chernobog system here. And if you have a look, we have Charkov, Desolation Sigma, Cardian 2, Markov and Prime and St. Abelard Relay Station. What it doesn't show you is it doesn't show you the Merciful Agony, but it is there. So if we travel there, it's quite useful because it's actually the same system that the current global event is in, so we can see it. So there we go, we've got Charkov, Cadian, Desolation, Malkor and Prime, St. Abelard, and then right at the top, with the lovely frame around it, we have the Merciful Agony. So if we travel to the Merciful Agony, you'll speak to the Magos that we originally conversed with to try and find uh, Metrodora and she has three options so I have questions for you I want something from you or I must leave now if you go to select I want something from you you have these two options so I want to enhance my abilities through sanctioned bio augmentation that costs 10,000 Caligari credits and 150 fate and it gets you one additional attribute point to distribute or you can go to, I need thorough genetical recalibration in the transcendence chambers, which is a very big mouthful, but basically what that means is two free skill points at the cost of 25,000 Caligari credits and 100 fate. So that costs more credits, less fate. I don't quite understand why, but there we go. But that's it. Realistically, you can buy fate uh, sorry, fate is the wrong thing. You can buy attribute points and skill points. And as I say, you can distribute those wherever you want. So I'm going to buy these. Improvement through modifications blessed by the Omnisite is always the right path to take. So we've gained one attribute point. Now if we go back, we only have the option for another two skill points. Now I think this does regenerate so tomorrow you'll be able to do the same again but I'm not 100% sure but if we buy those as well I do have enough of both so I want something from you I don't think there's going to be anything no. so you at least get one attribute and two skill points but I'm pretty certain that if you come back at some of the time you will get extras as well so um, even for the one attribute and two skill points is well worth it for the cost. There we go. Let's uh, go and spend those on my character. So I've obviously done it with my um, highest non-max level character. Um, I think I've already done it with my uh, max level character if I'm honest. So 
there we go we do have one extra skill point in fact I'll take it yeah there we go warfare so it just means that we can keep updating and upgrading all of the toughness warfare etc which is really nice and then we've got the additional skill point as well which as it stands I'm going to put that into physical resistance. In fact, I've got an additional one because it's uh, two points, isn't it? There we go. Additional one into warp. So I now have pretty consistent uh, 60 damage reduction, um, 51 physical resist, 58 heat resist, and 52 warp resist. So there we go, um, as I say, a very quick video just to show you that. Um, like I say, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember, in other words, whether it does uh, renew, but um, play around with it, even if you just get the uh, one attribute and two skills, it's it's still a an extra point that you wouldn't have had normally. So uh, definitely worth a look. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you found it useful and interesting please make sure you do click the like button subscribe if you are new to the channel and when you do please make sure you also click the bell icon so you're notified when i upload my next video if you want to support the channel further i do have a patreon page um, the uh, actual address for that is on the end screen um, so please do check that out and support if you can i'm sorry it's not a link but uh, Unfortunately, because I'm not monetized on YouTube, I can't link to any other sources of monetization or support, so it makes no sense. But anyway, go to that address if you want to support me further, and I would be very, very grateful. Um, on that note, I do want to thank my current patrons, so just Jeff, Funky Hands, um, Dave J, and Ernest McCosh. Um, thank you very much for supporting me. It's... Uh, really really useful and really helpful so uh, i do appreciate it there we go thanks guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon you all take care and bye for now